Hi there and welcome back to Primary Tutor Scotland. Today we are going to be looking at partitioning. So partitioning or splitting is when you split a number into their tens or their ones or their hundred tens and ones or their thousand tens and ones, whatever it is. It's into their place value groups. So right now we're going to do an example of tens and ones. So what number do I have here looking at the base 10 blocks? Well, I've got 10, 20. Now I could count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, all the way, but we know that this is a 10, this is another 10, so I've got two 10s, which is 20. All right. And then how many ones do I have? 1, 2, 3. That's easy. Now, why do I not write that number as this? <laughs> do you know? It's because I need to look at my place value. So we know that when we write a number, we have a tens column and we have a ones column. All right. Now, this is why we do not do it like that. How many tens have I got? I've got this 10 and I've got this 10. How many is that? Two. It's only two. Oh, my pen went squiggly. It's only two. If I put the number 20 in there, it would tell me that I have got 20 tens, but I don't, I only have two. So you only put two in there. And then how many ones do I have? That's easy peasy, three. All right, so the answer is 23. Now to partition that or to split it, well, we've actually done it the opposite way because what does this two stand for? It's not the number two, it is two tens, which gives me 20. And then how many ones do I have? Three. All right. So then that is us partitioning or splitting that number up. So let's look at another one. What is this number here? It is 100. So you might have at school your big blocks and it's your big square one and it is 100. How many blocks have I got here? We can count easily because we know that each one is a 10. So we can just go up in 10 times table. 10, 20, 30. And lastly, how many ones do we have? One, two, three, and four. All right, so that's us written out all of our numbers together. Now we need to get our place value sections or our groups. All right, and for that, I'm just gonna write down here a H for hundreds, a T for what, a tens, and an O for ones. Now, we don't write this number, 130 and four. No, 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 that's far too long. So how many hundreds do I have? I only have 100. There's only one block of 100 there, so it's a one. How many tens do I have? One, two, three. And how many fours do I, uh, how many fours? How many ones do I have? One, two, three, four. All right, so the answer is 134, but when we partition it or when we split it, okay, it's also called the expanded form. This is what we get. We get a hundred, we get a 30, and we get a four. So that is us partitioning our numbers. And then this is us contracting it. Thank you.